Hi, this is Travis Schreiber with Mr. Schreiber's Neighborhood. I'm joined by two special guests today, Steve Bakovin and Matt Fisher. Steve, thank you for being a part of this. Uh, can you tell me about your job? Sure. Um, I'm one of the two safety directors here at Tri-North Builders. Um, my job consists of uh, job site safety audits, making sure that our jobs are compliant with OSHA standards and that our employees are working in a safe and productive manner. Well, that's great. That's a very important job. Uh, Matt, and what do you do here? Uh, really, I'm the same safety director. We work together hand in hand and, uh, you know, really it is about educating our workforce and how to be safe and how to do things uh, properly, correctly. Uh, like Steve says, I want people to go home with all their fingers and toes to see their family, uh, go home how they came here. Uh, with that being said, we really do take pride in our safety program and doing things correctly. And Matt, I'm, I'm wearing some safety gear that I was told to bring here. Why is this so important? Well, right here, high vis, you couldn't be better. We got a, a sky track coming right behind us and you want to be visible. So, you know, bright colors, we have different types of vests. We try and make them uh, so they're, you know, breathable, uh, comfortable to wear. And again, it keeps you from getting run over on these projects. And we've made it mandatory at Tri-North on all our projects, whether you're working inside or outside, because you know what? It is really a good thing. You stand out it's, and, uh, you know, to get back to, you know, Steve's point, team planning, it's not only what we do with our people, we've planned with the fire department and the police department, uh, the city. We want to truly get everybody involved so we're all on the same page in the event there is a problem or a catastrophe. You know, with the uh, This is where you get to come every day for work. Tell me about when you were growing up. Did you ever think that you'd be in construction? Honestly, at, I didn't at first. I thought I, you know, when you're as you're growing up, you think, okay, there's teachers and there's doctors and there's lawyers and then there's business side of things. And you don't realize, um, you know, once you break down the business side into all the, the, different, uh, the different things in business. So construction is a business. And so when I, uh, as I was going through my education at, at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater for safety, we had some, a specialized course in construction safety and it started making you think and I always you know helped my my dad and my grandpa when I was young uh, you know build sheds and fix things around the house. And Matt how about you were you interested in construction as a kid how do you get involved? Yeah absolutely I think from the the day I was born I was playing in the sandbox with trucks and and digging and building forts and I've I've I built some interesting things uh, but then you know once you get into school I've always you know, had a passion for helping people. Yeah, My, this is our office, it's fun. The weather's beautiful today. Sometimes it's snowing, sometimes it's raining. Sometimes we'd be standing in six inches of mud here. But you know what, that's part of it. And uh, really got to give a lot of credit to the people that are in the field that, that do this daily because again, today's perfect, but not every day is. And they still get it done. You know, they still keep building and keep going. And that drives me to keep going too, to, to help them be safe and get them through those, you know, situations, whether it be weather or issues or problems that we have, you know, coming up. I'm sure you know we have an event coming up, Kids Building Wisconsin, on May 9th. The first 2,000 kids that come are going to get hard hats, so safety is going to be a part of the event. Uh, tell me why you think this type of event is important. Well, I think it's great because, again, our industry, you know, the past six years has been pretty rough, and a lot of people have retired and got out of it early, and really, construction is going to keep going on. So we need to get younger people involved. You know, some people may go to college, uh, some people may be project managers, stay in construction, but you know, construction's not going to die. You need to bring younger blood and get them excited about it. So it isn't for everybody, but they're you know, to let kids know at a young age, this is the things you can do. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. You get to wear hard hats and high vis, and and it, it's really a rewarding career where you're proud at the end of the day when you're done. I mean, uh, what would you tell kids that are thinking about a career in construction? The next generation is not getting into the construction field the way that our generation and our, our parents generations were and so there's a great opportunity to make a great a great living um, and doing hopefully doing something you love. College isn't for everybody you know and with apprenticeships all the trades have going on carpenters, laborers, whether you want to be an electrician or an HVAC there's a lot of people that go to college 
to become a construction worker to go in the field because there's so much technical data and with smart buildings, uh, green buildings. Um, it's just, there's opportunities for all different levels, uh, different shapes, sides, colors, creeds, um, but it's, it's, very, it's a very rewarding career. Um, again, college isn't for everybody. Here's an opportunity to, to show something to kids uh, that maybe they'll start thinking about it now at a young age so they can set themselves up getting out of high school to decide, hey, do I want to try an apprenticeship? Do I want to go to college to maybe manage a construction thing? And, and it'll help, again, show them how exciting and how rewarding and fun this, this career is. That's great. Well, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Matt, for joining us. This is Travis Schreiber with Kids Building Wisconsin. Uh, we practice safety at all of the job sites. Come and get your hard hat at Kids Building Wisconsin on May 9th.